Oh man, I missed that one of the most vital points on a video yesterday, you know, dog. So I dropped a video yesterday. Drug and alcohol addictions can ruin relationships. I actually recorded that video like two, three weeks ago, but dropped it yesterday. I'm on my way back from Northampton to Edmund. I'm in Edmund right now. Yeah, let me fling on the video. So the video I'm talking about, drug and alcohol addictions can ruin relationships. I'm saying, man, them, you might be a hard worker, you might be a hard grinder, you might be on a legit thing. Congratulations. But blood, you lose points, you know. If when your girl comes back from work or whatever, she sees you sitting down there bunny weed, fam, she'll start to look down on you, fam. Similarly, if your girl comes back from work or whatever and sees a man bashing buttons on a PlayStation 4 control pad, you lose points, bro. Your girl will start to look down on you, fam. Why are you not doing something more productive with your time sitting down there playing fucking video games? You're a grown-ass Russ Clark man, blood. And someone, some smart ass will come in the comment section. Oh, did you know that the latest game console was a PlayStation 5? You shouldn't fucking know what the latest game console is, my brother. You think I know what the latest Xbox console is or the latest Dreamcast console is? Fam, I don't give a fuck, fam. I'm too busy for that. So now I'm also saying in the video that, you know, friendships can start to go a bit, you know. I see him, man. Or it could be a family member or whatever. I see him, man. Gone out for a little outing and that little, I can't remember, it was a little party or something like that. And we're out of the ends for a few hours, six hours or something. And a man thought he lost his weed, well, he did lose his weed. And that man start moving mad. I never see a man move like that before. You start to look at a man's side, it's like, fam, what's going for Donny, blood? Like, all right, cool, you lost your weed, I get it. It's only a little 10, 20 bag of weed. But you can't wait six, seven hours to go back to the ends. Man talking about you want to go back to go and get some more weed and come back. Like, what? Also saying in a video, you could lose your job. You might be working certain places and that they might do random piss tests and that. They might do a piss test. I think weed stays in your system for like 30 days or something like that. If they find weed in your system, but you could lose your job, blood. I'm saying that I remember when I was in uh, working for Holmes Harringay, one of the trade unions, unions was saying that the police them is pulling over man them in vans, the white man in vans, because they know them man their pub man, them man they drink. They man, they might be over the limit. They might feel sober. They might be functional. They man, they might be able to stand on one foot or do a handstand and that. But you know what? When they do their blood or whatever, content or whatever, they're over the limit. Well, guess what? You've lost your, your license. Now, now you can't be an electrician. Or even an estate agent. You might have a company car. Or you might be whatever, innit? Yeah, do some sort of job where you've got a company car and you need a license to go to this site, that site, whatever, innit? You've, now you've lost your job, blood. But the most vital point that I fucking missed out on that video. I thought, oh my day, how did I not think of this? Obviously, the whole point of the video was about relationships and that. And I kind of started to go. The most vital point that I missed out on the fucking video, blood. Was you might die, you know. You could die. Even from an alcohol, alcohol poisoning, blood. Let alone a drug overdose. I've heard stories. Now, obviously, I feel sorry for people that die from alcohol poisoning and that. I heard a story about a man drank too much for some reason. I don't know. He wasn't able to wake up during his sleep. He ended up choking on, on his own vomit blood. He died. Not a couple times still. Heard man obviously dying of alcohol poisoning and that. I don't really understand how it works and that. But I understand that a man didn't wake up to get up to throw up properly. So he's choked on his own vomit blood. But the drug, so I feel sorry if when I hear a man die from alcohol poisoning or, you know what I'm saying, and he choked on his woman, I feel sorry for a man. But I don't feel sorry for people that die from a drug overdose. Now, you ain't going to die. I mean, don't quote me on this, innit? I'm not promoting no weed smoking or nothing like that. But I don't believe you can die from a weed overdose. I never heard of that before, innit? And you know what? Not condoning no weed smoking or nothing like that, but weed is is more natural, innit? You get it. Not this skunk thing, they'll put in all these kind of chemicals and all them things there. Weed is natural. I know there's other natural drugs that are can fuck you up and that in it, but weed is a bit more acceptable. I'm not promoting weed. No way, shape, or form in it. I'm just saying I don't think that you can die from a weed overdose. I never heard of that. But blood, why are you smoking crack? Why are you shooting up heroin? Why are you abusing painkillers or horse tranquilizer? Or fentanyl blood. These are unnatural substances that you're putting in your body, fam. Why are you putting these chemicals in your body? Someone put down in the comment section what the fascination is with these drugs. Speed, MDMA, ecstasy, blood. 
I was about to say I don't get it. I know why. Man are trying to escape their problems, blood. You can't escape the problem if you are the problem, fam. But anyway, over the last few years, I've heard that a few people in the limelight have just suddenly passed away. And they'll put down in the tabloid headline, whatever, in it. Such and such has passed suddenly. Cause of death unknown. And it'll be a 28, 29, 30 year old man. Man, that's my age. You know when I hear that a 28, 29, 30 year old man has just died suddenly in that? I feel threatened by that, you know? Because it's not like a man's been murdered or anything like that. When they say the cause of death is unknown, I just assume it's natural causes. And I feel threatened by that because me, I'm a man, I'm in control of my life, innit? I've got my finances in order, my life is good. Pattern. But I can't control if I just suddenly have a heart attack or drop dead, innit? And when I hear that other people can just have a heart attack, or I suspect other people just had a heart attack or whatever, failed lungs and that, well, I feel like that could happen to me. See me, I know you lot probably think that I think I'm invincible and that, yeah, I'm a tough guy and that, but blood, I don't think I'm invincible and that. No, I know, you know, one day I'm going to die and that, innit? I don't think like, oh, I'm immortal or nothing like that, innit? So when I hear that man's just suddenly dropped dead, I just assume natural causes and that. As soon as I hear that it's a drug overdose, I feel no remorse. I instantly lose respect for this person, fam. Because, fam, this could have been avoided. The alcohol thing, not so much can it be avoided and that. Because sometimes people don't know their limits. But you know full well you should not be putting chemicals. You should not be using a substance that is made to put a fucking 600 kg horse to sleep, blood. You're fucking 90 kg soaking wet. Why the fuck are you using tranquilizer? Who the fuck comes out with this stuff, blood? Who made that? Who, who thought to himself, you know what, yeah? It might be a good idea to use horse tranquilizer in my body. I think, was it like, was it Ziggy Marley or, sorry, Damien Marley, his son or grandson or something like that, died the other day. Natural death, uh, sorry, cause of death unknown. Come to find out, I think it was fentanyl or something like that. Man, who's getting, you get me, mistreated and manhandled by the police the wrong way. I ain't going to say no one's name, but you know what I'm talking about and that. When they do a post-mortem or whatever they call it and that, they come to find out this person's under the influence of certain mad drugs and that. You think to yourself, if this individual, I know what the police done to him was mad, but if this individual was sober, had no drugs or alcohol in the system, would he still be alive today? The answer's probably yes, fam. I'm not I'm not excusing and saying, yeah, the police can do whatever they want to man in it. But what I'm saying is, fam, you probably would have been walking around today if you weren't on drugs, blood. It's not worth it. It's a waste of fucking money. This man all spending £600 a month on weed, blood. Come on, blood. Or at least £300 a month on weed. Well, some people are spending £600 a month on weed. They can afford it. But just think about all the money that you could be saving not doing drugs and that. I mean, I'm slightly a control freak in, in regards to my life. I like to be in control of my life. That's why I've never... You know, I've never been drunk before. Never been drunk, never been high. Obviously, I've sipped alcohol. When I was 14, some girl put some weed to my lips so I smoked. Just took a puff. Didn't even get high or nothing like that. I've never been high or drunk in my life, but I don't want to not be in control, fam. What if I do something dumb? Man, get nicked or... You know what I'm saying, innit? Nah, fam. I stay well away from, from drugs and that. Yeah? Everyone has got their little vices and that. My vice thing is riding my motorbike, innit? Yeah, that's what I get pleasure from. I don't need to escape my problems. Like I said in that video before, and there's certain people want to uh, go to California or fucking Miami and that. You're watching too much YouTube, like You're watching too much Kim Kardashian and Chris Brown and these people. Certain people feel, believe that, oh, yeah, they're just going to get picked up in a limousine from their yard in Edmonton and driven down to Heathrow Airport, but they're not going to even ride business or first class. They're going to get on a fucking private jet and sip champagne with beer gala around them. Then they're going to land on the runway and there's going to be a Rolls Royce Phantom. You know the one with the, with the, the glitter ceiling or whatever to drive into their penthouse and they're going to party the, the night away? No, fam. If you're an average person in the UK, you'll be an average person in the fucking US, blood. <laughs> Do people feel like when they're on that plane, right, they now have got their, their, their celeb status or something like that? 
fucking stupid, bro. But um, yeah, man. Missed out the most vital point in it, but I mean, there's always there's there's always an opportunity to make another video and that. But yeah, obviously, yeah, the drug thing, alcohol thing, you might lose relationships and that. Uh, you might start to look at your friends sideways or your friends might start to look at you sideways because like i said in that video there's certain man i don't even want to be around them because they burn weed and that i've linked up with man and i'm chatting to a man and he's like talking to a zombie fam yeah yeah my man's hardly answering just nodding his head the lights are on but no one's home literally you could lose your job from being under the influence of drug and alcohol and worst off because you can always get a new girlfriend you can always make new friends you can always get a new job but you only got one life, you know. You're literally, you're literally gambling. You're rolling the dice when you're doing drugs, blood. Because you don't know what the content is of every... Let's say, for example, you got pills and that. You do not know what the content of that is. Because you never created it yourself. So you never know. That one there might have a little bit more. Or you've had a few that are a bit weak. And you say, oh, let me have a few, few more. And, that, and then that one might be the final nail in the coffin, blood. It's not worth it, blood. I'm not taking them chances, blood. Putting chemicals in my body. It's funny. So hold on a minute. Man's come out with a good point, you know. So hold on a minute. So man don't mind putting ket, fentanyl, um, crack, heroin, painkillers, overdose and abusing painkillers and that. Man don't mind putting those drugs in their system, but man don't want to take the COVID vaccine. Don't get it twisted. I'm not with this COVID vaccine. I ain't vaccinated. Man ain't joking me up with no fucking needle. But what I'm saying is, man don't want to be putting the vaccination in them, but you'd rather put drugs in you. The whole of you lot is stupid. The people them that want to do the vaccination tick because they feel like, oh, you know, I won't be able to survive without a vaccination and that. You're stupid. And the people them that don't mind putting chemical substances they don't even understand in their body. The, the whole of you lot is stupid, fam. The whole of you lot is dumb, bro. Anyway, man, that's it for the day, man. Stay with us. Done, man.